tabular table calculations has five rank types and often these different rank types can be confusing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain each rank type and how is it different from each other. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about different rank types in Tableau. That is rank function, rank modified, rank dense, rank unique, and rank percentile. So let's start with the first basic rank function, which is rank. So rank function gives you the ranking for the current row within your ordered partition. So row with identical values are assigned the same rank with the next ranking skipped. So what does that mean? So let's go and first create a calculated field by the name rank. And we will use the rank function. And in the rank function, we are going to show sum of sales value. And we want to show that by send descending order. So we will simply type descending and click OK. So let me bring this rank calculation into row shelf and I will change the green pill to blue by just clicking on the discrete values. And what I'm showing in here is the rank or the sales by customers for appliances subcategory. And I have sorted it in the descending order by sales for each customer. And this rank function is showing all the rank value based on the sales value for each customer. And you will notice that based on the highest sales value, we have given the ranking one and so on. We are going from top to bottom. But if you see the value for Robert and Fred, the sales value is $1641 for both of them. And after rank 10, we are showing rank 11 for both of them. And after that, for Diana, the rank is 13. So here, we have skipped the rank, the next ranking, after a row which have the same sales value. And the row with the same value or the identical value are assigned the same rank, which is 11 in this case. And the next rank is skipped for the next value, and we are showing rank number 13 in this case. So 11 and 12 is skipped, and we are showing the 13 value. So that's the rank function. Now let's move on to rank modified function. So we will create a rank modified calculation and we will do the same thing, sum of sales value. And we will again do it in the descending order, sort it in the descending order. Once we do that, we have to put the descending order in quotes and the valid this is the valid calculation. Now I will bring the rank modified again into row shelf and we can compare all of these rank types. So again, it's showing us the continuous field for rank modified. I will click on this drop down and change it into discrete value. And we can see it again here. The rank modified function is again showing these values with the same sales value, 1641. And in this case, it's similar to rank one function where the gap is not after the repeated number, but it's before. So as in rank function, you see after rank 10, we have two values with the same sales value and we have given rank as 11 for both of them. And then we skipped number 12 and the next value is 13. Whereas in rank modified, we are skipping the values before the same identical values. So after rank 10, Instead of showing the rank 11, we are showing identical rank as 12. And then after that, it's 13. So we have skipped the value before the identical rows in rank modified. So that was rank modified. Now let's move on to rank dense. Rank dense function is similar to the previous two functions with one exception. That rank dense does not have gaps. So let's look at that rank dense function by creating a calculated field as rank dense. 
and we will do the same thing here we will use sum of sales value and we will sort it in the form of descending and I will bring this calculation again into row shelf and convert it into discrete value so now let's have a look at this one so it's again sorting it in the descending order and showing rank one as the highest sales value and if we go to rank 11 10 and 11 you see 1641 is the same sales value and it is assigned the same rank which is 11 and in this case it's not skipping any rank so after rank 11 it's showing us rank 12 so rank death doesn't show any gaps as compared to rank and rank modified function and rank function we are showing the gap after the identical ranking whereas in rank modified we are showing the gap before the identical values whereas in rank dense we are not showing any gaps for the identical values we are showing the rank 11 in this case and then the next value is signed rank 12 so that is rank dense now let's move on to rank unique so rank unique assigns unique rank value despite repeated values in the unique product column so this rank type does not have any gaps as well so now let's create a rank unique for, uh, rank unique calculation field so rank unique and I will use sum of sales as well in this case and I will use descending order sorting as well so I will bring this rank unique function into row shelf and convert it into discrete value so now let's have a look at this so if you notice in this case there is even the identical values are assigned ranking and there is no gaps in this case so repeated values also have the unique rank in this case so that's the purpose of rank unique now last but not the least is rank percentile it's the last and probably the most confusing rank type of all so let's first recall what percentile is but before that let's create a calculated field for rank percentile so in this i will use rank percentile function and i will use sum of sales value and i will close the bracket and press ok and i will bring the rank percentile into row shelf and i will change it into discrete values and i will format this rank type and change the number format to percentage and you will see that the first rank percentile is 100 percent for the sales value 2981 what does that mean so now that we can see the rank percentile so for rick wilson it's showing 100 percent because of the sales value maximum sales value in this case is 2981 so the percentile means it's a measure used in statistics indicating the value below which a given percentage of observation in a group of observation falls so what does that mean so if we look at a particular row like in this case Nicole uh, which has sales of 1246 and the rank percentile is 95.21 so it means that 95 percent 95.21% of the customers are below Nicole and if we go further down and look at Fred Harton it means that 85.63 percent of the customers are below Fred in terms of their sales value so whatever is the maximum sales value we assign that person or in this case that customer a hundred percentile so that's how rank percentile works so these are all the different types of rank function in tableau table calculation i hope this tutorial helped you to clarify all these different type of rank functions and you will be now able to use them wherever it is required if you have any questions please feel free to drop me a message in the comments below see you guys in the next session thank you